Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Englander and I'm the Relentless Reviewer. What's a show about, you might ask? Well, I review brand new video games whether they are great, good, or do not deserve your $60. Now, how do I review them? Simply using the best video game rating system around, I split up the review into five different categories. I start with the graphics, continue with the story, carry on with the acting, explain the gameplay with great detail, and end with the replay value. Each category has a maximum of five stars and a minimum of one. And the max amount of stars for a game is 25, which I then divide by five for my final and very good score. So why don't we start this brand new show off right with one of the most anticipated games of the year, Rockstar's L.A. Noir. In the case that breaks you. LAPD, could we have a word? case they never saw. The one that keeps you awake at night. You shot a man in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. <laughs> it takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? What have we got? Two stiffs. Overdosed. The victim was dead before the car hit him. Spill it! Or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. You needed the money, so you killed her. That's not true, goddammit! I thought you'd been under fire before. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened? I expect you to draw your own conclusions. Not gonna happen, fellas. This is your chance. Don't fail me. We're done for now. The case that makes you, and the case that... Well, you saw the trailer, so does L.A. Noir live up to the hype? Let's begin with the graphics. Watching that trailer right off the bat, you probably noticed that the facial animations done for this game look incredibly realistic. That's no coincidence, because publisher Rockstar Games and developer Team Bondi created a brand new technology called Motion Scan, which records the actors' faces rather than using a game face animation, which is why the faces look so real. Obviously, though, there's more to the graphics. The detail in recreating the city of Los Angeles in 1947 is absolutely remarkable, with even the smallest things looking just as realistic up close as they do in real life. Well, despite the Xbox 360 version of the game containing three discs, my god, while the PS3 version only has one, both games look practically identical. Overall, combining the revolutionary technology and the terrific research for the atmosphere of this game, it easily gets the maximum of five stars. Now, on to the game's story. At first glance, the story may not seem like much more than you simply solving crimes, conspiracies, and just moving up the ranks of the LAPD. Sounds boring? Well, as you play the game, you find out that this is definitely not the case. You play as protagonist Cole Phelps, a rookie cop just returning from the horrors of World War II, looking to make a name for himself. He quickly finds out the dark sides of L.A., and as the game progresses, so does Cole as a character, leading to shocking twists and an incredibly satisfying ending. Overall, the story is terrific and deserves the full five stars. Next up is the acting. Now, you might notice I didn't mention voice acting. No, this is because the new technology, technology motion scan, the actual faces being used are just incredible compared to the computer generated ones. It makes for very believable performances and a terrific script. We're talking about more than 4,000 lines and more than 400 actors and actresses. Once again, really, there's nothing more to say that's negative about this. Once again, it receives the five stars. Now on to the most important part, the gameplay. As a detective, you are going to be investigating crime scenes, questioning witnesses and interrogating suspects, often getting into shootouts and car chases as well. All of this is done extremely well, with the controls feeling comfortable and learnable, and never getting the feeling of repetition, something so many games suffer from that I've played over the years. The streak of five stars will continue so far in this review, as the controls, pacing, and the feeling of something fresh all fit together to create a game that not only presents itself, it also plays extremely well. 
So can LA Noir get the perfect kind of review? Let's finish up with the replay value. Now along with all the things I mentioned in this gameplay section of this review, all of the cases are replayable even after completing them. So if you didn't get the best outcome for a certain case, don't worry. You can try again afterwards. Also, aside from the main storyline, there are 40 unassigned cases that you can try to solve, most of them being more action-oriented. So, despite the fact that the free roaming isn't quite as much in depth than previous Rockstar games like Red Dead Redemption or Grand Theft Auto 4, I'm still going to give it three stars, not the five stars, because as I mentioned, the previous Rockstar games, Red Dead Redemption and Grand Theft Auto 4, the free roaming was unbelievable in those games. There's not much though that L.A. Noir could do for free roaming. It is meant to be an action adventure game, but I will still give it three stars. Still loses two stars because it's a bit disappointing that you can't, you know, free roam a little bit more. That's all. So overall, it gets the 23 out of 25 stars. It is one of the most revolutionary games that will change video games forever. The terrific atmosphere of Los Angeles in 1947, the excellent gameplay, and you know, not as high, but pretty good replay value. This game is another big step to making games just as cinematic as movies. L.A. Noir wins the day and lives up to the hype. I'm going to give it a 23 out of 25 stars for a four-star rating review. So that's it for our first show of Relentless Reviews, but plenty more shows are on the way with new ones coming on each and every Thursday. And for next week's show, type in the comments below what game you would like me to review, and I'll check it out. So that's it. I'm Josh Englander, and this is the Relentless Reviewer, signing out. Good night, everybody.